Are you excited as I am? Link in the description below. I don't even know which phone there is in here because I got the mini and the max. And this is the mini! Okay, uh, I didn't realize it till now, but I think um, I'm a little biased right now because officially I think I am more excited for the mini. It's probably the one I'm gonna keep, but the camera features are kind of hard to pass up with the Pro Max. So um, let's unbox them both and, you know, we'll see which one we like better. Gotta love that, man. So I've already unboxed the 12 and the 12 Pro. Go check out those videos. I've also made some accessories videos, some must-have things, cases. You know you need them. So, um, the Mint iPhone 12 Mini. First initial impressions. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not as blown away as I thought I was gonna be. Same things inside. Ooh, you get the one USB-C to lightning cable and then your info, but I'm a little underwhelmed right now. Is that is that just me? So it's small, don't get me wrong. I don't know, when you're just expecting certain things and everybody kind of talks it up, you think something and then don't get me wrong, I love the mint color, the Nobatech mint. Absolutely love that. But I thought this was gonna be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna put this to the side for now and I'm gonna open up the 12 Pro Max and kind of talk to you guys real quick about my Italy trip. Random segue. But um, when I went to Italy, I was crazy excited to see the Coliseum. And you know what happened with that? I've been to baseball stadiums and I've been to football stadiums. And so when I saw the Coliseum from all the movies, all the history books, I, how freaking excited I was to see that, it was a bit underwhelming. And um, the 12 mini just wasn't as mini as I was hoping for. 12 Pro Max, however, it's been a while since I've had a plus phone. I think the six plus, might have been the last plus phone I've had, and uh, I might be leaning towards the black. Ooh, graphite black. It's kind of like a gray black, so this is my first. Damn, this. Okay, this is the reaction I was hoping for with this guy. 128 gigabyte, $1,100. 128 gigabyte, about 800 bucks. Why don't we make this a video where I talk a little bit about each phone, and you guys help me decide which one I should go for. 12 mini, love the size, hate the battery life, Really like the mint color. Love the matte finish around the border. Don't love the glossy finish. Price is great. Pocketability and usability is great. But this guy, the nicer camera system, the bigger screen, the better battery life. I definitely hate the bezels that they're shiny, but I love the matte back. The reason why I think this is so much harder this year to decide is because they're not really crippling the smallest phone. It's still got a great screen, it's still got decent battery life, still has a great camera system, and still has a ton of the great features that the bigger phones, the more expensive phones have. It's got MagSafe, it's got the better screen. Which one of these do you guys wanna pick up? And uh, if I hit 50,000 subscribers, which one of these do you want me to give away? Oh, and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of the new sets. If you haven't checked out my other sets, make sure to check out all the awesome videos I've made about the iPhone 12 for this year. And I wanna know, out of all the 12s that came out this year, which one do you wanna choose and what color? Oh, you know, I'm putting a case right on my phone. This is the Lucid Clear by Kadabi. Love how minimalist it is. Still works with MagSafe without the gross halo ring. And if you want a little bit more protection, the sheet. Six foot drop protection. This is one of my personal favorite cases because I want a little bit more of that protection, a little bit more of that grippiness, the great cutouts, but most importantly, the lip that protects both my screen and my camera system.